Tim here at Hewa Tofu in Rockport, Maine. Let's go and see how it's done. I'm here with Jeff Wolovitz from Hewa Tofu, uh, where he crafts tofu at his facility in Rockport. So, the first part starts with the beans. Organic the soy soybeans. Beans. Organic soybeans from Maine. And you get them in a one ton bag. Mm-hmm. Okay. About this tall. Okay. When you get it. So from here, you put them through yep. a, a method which separates any uh, rocks or any debris that might be in there. Yep. That was from yesterday, I think. What happened yesterday? <laughs> And then from here it goes into the tofu room, which is over here. So this is where the tofu is actually crafted and it starts from what Jeff tells me with the, the soaking of the beans. So as he said, they're, they're processed in there, put in the buckets, and they go in this uh, water well for uh, overnight. Like overnight so. yep. we're, drain we're draining the water out right now. There's holes in the bottom of the bucket so the water just comes up and then it can drain back out. And after it's drained, it goes through this grinder. Um, so it basically dries the soybeans and what comes out on the other side resembles like a light colored uh, hummus. And then this is, is there a cook the step? cooking step. Yeah where the grind goes into the steam jacket kettles. Yeah, there's water in there already. Is, is there a proportion of water to, uh, to grind? About 10 to 1, dry soybean to water. So that batch is cooking now. Okay. The previous batch is, has just finished pumping through from the other kettle into here. This next step is dewatering. The dewatering step. They're working on getting the, the soy milk out, which you can see pouring into this vat here, which is another uh, straining mechanism. So it's essentially getting double strain. So this is the part where it's adding calcium sulfate to uh, the soy milk, and it acts as a coagulant to it. So it's actually gonna to curdle it. And you have to stir it very vigorously, but very specifically. It's kind of a convection movement for exactly 20 seconds. It's been 15 minutes since he put the calcium sulfate in. It's had a chance to coagulate, and now he's breaking it up. Uh, just uh, to separate the, the whey from uh, the curds. This step is where uh, the tofu or the, the curds go into a pressing process. So it's been separated from most of its whey. It's going into these uh, molds, if you will. They're, they're perforated and there's cheesecloth in it. And then what he's gonna do is he's gonna Put some, apply some pressure, essentially putting it in a press. Uh, the pressure has come down, uh, the tofu, the curds are in there, and you can see uh, through the preparation in the pans that the whey is, uh, the remaining whey is coming out. The tofu goes through the press, comes out of the cheesecloth, where it's put into uh, water, allowing it to float and not break apart. So after it uh, goes through the extraction process, it moves over to here where they're cutting and weighing the tofu.
first of two chilling baths that uh, the tofu goes through. This is uh, the second chilling bath, which is water at 35 degrees, and this is the last of the chilling process. And there you have it. That's how tofu is crafted here at Hewa Tofu in Rockport, Maine.